Welcome to day 79 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Thea and today we are trying a technique called urge surfing. This week we've been looking at mindful habits and thinking about how we can make it easier to make better choices that leave us feeling healthy, happy and energised. And today we're going to try a mindfulness technique called urge surfing. And we'll be using food or drink, having that in front of us and noticing that urge to eat or drink and what that actually feels like in our body. Just as in the past we've ridden the waves of our emotions, we've surfed our feelings, that's what we're going to be doing with our urge today. So you will need some fruit or maybe a piece of chocolate or a drink, something tempting but it only needs to be something small and of course as always please do not raid the fridge without people's permission. Make sure you are allowed to take what you are going to take. I'm going to give you some pause time now to go and get whatever it is you are going to eat or drink and to get that in front of you and then come back. Off you go. Now that you're back with something to eat or drink, I'd like you to keep that in front of you. And what we're going to do first is to have a really good look at this, like we do with the mindful eating. Really look at those details, really notice things with your beginner's mind, as if you haven't seen this before. And I'd like you to take that in your hand and I'd like you to smell. And what I'd really like is for you to notice any reaction in your body when you smell. Does this trigger a wave of urge? Does anything in your body suggest that you would like to eat or drink? Can you feel this in your mouth, in your face, in your throat, in your belly? Put the object down in front of you again and I want you to sit for a minute or so with this feeling, this urge, the urge to eat or drink. Where do you experience that in your body? Is the urge in your fingers or fingertips? Is it in your hand or arm? Do you feel this in your stomach or shoulder? Do you feel this in your mouth? If you were to describe this feeling as a colour, what colour would it be? If it was a shape, what shape would it be? Does this feeling stay the same all the time? Or does it rise and fall like a wave? Does it tingle? Does it pulse like a heartbeat? Does it sting? What is this feeling like? And just take your attention to your breath for three breaths. And that brings our urge surfing to a close. That is it for today and of course you can eat or drink the item if you'd like to now. Hopefully you can see having tried that, that when we don't react instantly to our feelings and our urges, if we're willing to sit with those feelings with curiosity, then they sometimes get quite a bit easier to ignore. And you can use this to maybe not bite your nails if that's something you're trying to give up to maybe stop scrolling on your phone so much or to play on your game a little bit less. You can use it for lots of different things that you are trying to do. As always, if there's anything you'd like to share in regards to urge surfing or anything we've done this week, then give an adult a nudge and they can share to Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. 
details are on the screen. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.